of any value, not to others, simply to yourself. And in this examination, if one is able to avoid the pitfalls of societal conditioning, which are difficult to impossible to avoid for the vast majority, the pitfalls of judgment, the pitfalls of prescription, the pitfalls of replacing one thing with another, the pitfalls of self-improvement and self-development and new age and spirituality. These are not small hurdles. A direct, pure, and genuine examination of the value of one's life. What does he do all day? What does she do all day? What does one do aside from so-called work? And even in one's work, is it simply work or is it devotion? Not that it should be devotion. It is an examination. Once again, there is no judgment. If one examines their life in this way, if one is sincere and if one is serious in their examination, they may discover something. They may discover something of great value. It may be for the first time in their life that they were sincere. When no one was watching, when there were no pats on the back to be had, this is a worthwhile life. The serious person who explored in this way has the opportunity to produce a truly valuable life, a life that stops taking from him all that he has. And all humans feel, whether they express it or not, whether they admit it or not, that life has taken everything from them. And if everything is not yet gone, it is slowly on the move. But if one can find something that is of lasting value, that does not leave, that is substanceful, that has the opportunity to lead one to permanence and provide for them at least a fraction of what they have always longed for, then they have the opportunity to create a valuable life.